Hey, this is Robbie exploring with Dakota, and we are at a, we are at another abandoned building. This was Barker's country store at one time. This place was closed back in 1961. So without further ado, let's ease right in. Look at this place. Quite a bit left behind. This guy passed away and none of his family members ever reopened it again. And we're looking at the meat and deli section right here. tight quarters in here as you can see this is where he used to keep a meat set Actually, I come by here today to get some vegetables, but I guess the produce truck ain't running yet. These old pans. Buric acid. Got a whole lot of old canned foods left. This was whole potatoes. Cigar boxes. Switch of sweets. Heinz 57 bottle. More whole potatoes. Bushes something snowboat. I can't quite make out what that is. I think possibly just white white potatoes. Okay. 
Okay, this is the same thing you see as right here, white potatoes, okay. Earthly kind of earthly California olives. Yes, the, the guy that owned this place, he passed away in 1961, and none of his family members wanted to take over, so. Wow, let's look in here. Oh God, I don't know what that is. Yeah, right nasty looking. It's supposed to come in a store like this with an appetite not to lose it. But anyway. Yeah, this is pretty much about a done deal. I was told back in the 50s and early 60s, this was a pretty popular place. You have to excuse all the background racket. Guys, I'm stepping over stuff right and left. guy was telling me this he said he remember when it was a drink machine out front a Dr. Pepper machine that is which I don't see it nowhere but he can remember the drinks was like in a slot machine and he said it was like 10 cent a piece just imagine that actually this place was built I believe in, I believe I was told back in what the upstairs looks like or what's the left of it. These steps are pretty well demolished. I would love to get up there but I can't see that happening. Actually the guy running the store he lived upstairs. This is right outside of Country Road, people, so you have to kind of ignore the traffic going by. You can get a quick shot of the front of it. It's pretty much overgrown, but I'm gonna give you the best shot I possibly can. It's 
So I'd love to get upstairs, but that's not going to happen. Make around, make a tour around the back. Actually, I don't know how well you can see this. It's going to give me a glare. I'm going to move over to the side. This place is gigantic. It's a whole lot bigger in the back and it looks up front. I can tell you that now. side and get a, a view of it what I can sorry that sun is such a glare but these old places like this abandoned oh, they're becoming a dying breed And I really appreciate all of the code of you and viewers tuning in and on these adventures with this more exploring me with these different places. I enjoy it a whole lot. And like I said in some of the earlier videos, we got some good material coming out. Uh, a regular view of the coders we appreciate you checking in and if you are a new viewer please subscribe and we appreciate it a whole lot we do our best to bring you the best footage possible Like I say, we will have more good videos coming your way. Investigations. We try to cover a little bit about everything. But this is Robbie, exploring with Dakota. And uh, thank you for checking in with us. And have a good day.